You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Okay, so this is from the Gladiator movie, the official X account from director Ridley Scott. Watch the new trailer for Gladiator 2 starring Paul, Paul Mescal, Pedro Pascal. <laughs> What's with these names? Who knows, man? <laughs> Denzel Washington. Denzel! How Connie come Denzel Newsom? Washington's not first? That's the thing. That's real crime. <laughs> well, he's probably like a... Well, I don't know. I don't know. Connie Nielsen, Joseph Quinn. I love Joseph Quinn. And Fred Heikinger. Only in theaters November 22nd. Okay, here we go. Frank Tanola! <laughs> It is an art. Choosing gladiators. They're usually prisoners of war. Proclaim this city for the glory of Rome. You have something in you. Rage. Never let it go. Whoa. It will carry you Later. to greatness. I own you now. But whose head could I give you to satisfy your fury? The general will do. Rome has taken everything from me. But I will have my vengeance. There is plenty of pain waiting for you in the next life. I don't know why you are so greedy for it in this one. <laughs> your Majesties. This is your gladiator. It is. I have the trust of the emperors. It will clear my path to the throne. You will be my instrument. I will never be your instrument in this life or the next. Lucius, take your father's strength. His name was Maximus. And I see him in you. Most fighters won't survive. You must help him. Frank the I don't fight for power. I fight the free road for men like them. Your name will be forgotten. To restore order, I must have power. Everything is forgotten in time. Empires fall, so do emperors. This is war! Real war! Oh, the odds are against you. The odds are always against me. Ready to rail! All right. All right, Fletcher, what do you think? Boom. Yeah, that's funny because this trailer almost made it. Uh, before I was like, well, I'm going to watch it because of Dancel. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, this one, is, it's almost like it, it kind of did a reverse on me. It was like, oh, man, it just some of like the CGI, like, uh, you know, like uh, monkeys and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. there was like, it's just, man, it just feels like it drags a little bit. And. Uh, mescal it's funny because in this one i think uh pascal did better than mescal because yeah this, yeah you know on, on this on this look of the trailer mm -hmm. um and it's like hmm it the funny thing is it is i guess it's like a weird thing because the trailer in a sense is better than the old one but i feel like it does the same thing it gives you way too much and some of the clips that they pick, I, I don't think were kind of, it, it was a little bit, you know, like, okay, you're showing like most of the whole story. And mm -hmm. uh, Mescal comes up really poorly, I think, on this mix, right? And we don't have enough Dancel, which I think is like the shining beacon of the thing. So it's like, whoa. So I, I don't know. This one is like, I don't know if I, I like the other trailer better without the music and, Maybe a uh, maybe the cut of Pascal in if they would have put the do the music that they did here 
put uh, the cut of uh, Pascal in the other one, right? Then the other one would have been like the number one trailer, I think, to this one. Okay. Um. So there's nothing new with with this trailer with this story it literally is a play-by-play -play of the original russell crow gladiator so in that regard it reminds me of just like old hollywood doing gladiator movies swashbuckling movies you know that's fun right. that's fun i'm not going to take this movie seriously at all mm -hmm. historically no ridley scott no but is it spectacle? Is it going to entertain? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Absolutely. There's there's possibility for that because this is like old style Hollywood uh, swashbuckling films. Is it original? No. Does it got the vibes from the other one? Yeah, maybe. Is it a little too much? Yeah, maybe. But you know what? So was T2. And, you know, and they were able to entertain. So that's how I'm approaching the film as a whole. I'm going to go see it opening weekend. Uh, based on the now, based on what I've seen in this trailer, Pedro looks incredible. I, you know, like almost like God, this should be his film because his presence and, and uh, I loved it. I'm talking about Pedro Pascal. Denzel look cool, great. He's got some, you know, they've got a great, it's a great uh, role, it's a great character role. Um, but the lead is this guy, right? And uh, he ain't no Russell Crowe, right? He ain't no Russell, he, and that's Russell Crowe in his prime, right? That's a big problem. Yeah, his, his presence gets lost. There's no presence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and his presence is kind of not likable. It's kind of like you know, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, so. Yeah. I'm liking every like so so you know like again I could put away that it's not original blah 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 you know right. but I think you know if it's like a swashbuckling type of Hollywood film then you know uh, I'm all in for it because it's not it's not like uh, it can't be an historical re reenactment that's bullshit right um but it's got to have a swashbuckling lead to me Pedro Pascal is that great lead. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he his his style of acting, his looks are made for movies like this. This mm -hmm. guy, uh, this guy looks like his, you know, like his squirmy cousin. Mm -hmm. You know, right? Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm gonna go check it out because mm -hmm. we have a rule in my household: when Dio Dancel puts out a movie, it's mandatory black watch. So you have to go support. That's no oh. matter what. So oh yeah, that's yeah. just it. So anything I mean, else all... is whatever. Yeah, again, there's a lot, there's a lot of elements that I'm gonna go and see this right away. Now I believe our own Rosa Pot. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> he looks he looks incredible. Mm. Incredible. Mm. He, you know, like he like there's just certain there's just certain actors that you put on a costume, they just fit. Perfectly in that costume. The other guy doesn't. Denzel looked really great as well in, in, in his kind of like robes and you know he's kind of like that. that I, I I bought it. Um, there's a there's a lot of good elements that I'm gonna go see this. You know, right? I got one element that I'm gonna go see it. Denzel. That's <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah, because everything, nothing else sells it for me. Well, the, the actual looks effects cool. on this one. Was like no, the, the monkeys wow. look ridiculous, but but yeah, everything else was... looks cool. Oh, you know, no. there's some swashbuckling was... swords. Give me swords and give me fake boats. I don't give you know, like just if it's, if it's fun, I'm in. Does that? But the, I'll give you the monkeys. That look pretty bad. That look pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it look, it look pretty bad. And Lee looks bad. Yeah. The Lee, oh, what? Because they were hyping this guy up for a while. Paul, I don't Scott. know why. Yeah. No, it looks a little look, too jumbled, man. That looks cool. No. Oh. I just don't. Oh, but and Denzel looks fantastic. Denzel looks like a like a boss. Looks fantastic. I totally buy it. Buy it. Buy it. 
Uh, well, there you have it. Our reaction to Gladiator 2. Gladiator what do you think? Harder. Gladiator <laughs> Harder. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound right. Yeah. In theaters November 22nd. We will see it. We will review it. Rosa Parra did see uh, several minutes of it saying that she's in. Yeah, yeah, she did like this. So obviously so, it's not really coming off in the trailer. Yeah. Uh, because what she saw, she said she was really in it. Right. Uh, so she's a fan of the first one. So, yeah, yeah. Man. So cool. um, make sure you check out our reviews. Check out our film reviews on thelatinoslant.com featuring film critic Rosa Parra and from Mexico, Alfredo Galindo. You can sign up there for the free newsletter. Uh, where we get you uh, the coverage of what we're doing on our website. A lot of new films, a lot of great entertainment on our website and our YouTube channel, which tend to kind of complement each other, but we do have different content. This is our reaction to Gladiator 2. What do you guys think right now? Hope everyone is doing well. Thanks a lot.